Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to another uh, invest cash scene investigations with Chief Scout. Uh, it's a pretty snowy morning, minus one, and of course uh, the clocks have sprung forward ahead, so uh, getting and losing an hour of caching on the day, but that's okay. We'll make it up today. Myself and the team we're going to head out to the uh, section of the Elgin Trail, and. Uh, Used to be a, uh, it's a bit of a trail that runs about 41 kilometers. We're not going to do it all today, but we have been working away at it piece by piece. So uh, come along. Uh, we'll share today's adventures, and uh, we'll see what we can find on the trail. So part of the Elgin Trail runs along old abandoned rail lines. So here we are crossing the rail bridge on a cold and frosty day. The rest of the team being highly visible. We're pursuing across these tracks and we're going to see if we can find a cache that's on the other side. Now I want to be careful not to turn the camera too quick because I don't really want to drop the phone and have to go get it on a slippery and snowy. So we found these uh, CN, old CN rail boxes was the location of this cache. And what we're gonna do is we'll look inside and you'll be able to see that in fact, the container is the container. People are signing their names on there. So we were able to sign our names on this to claim the find. And you can see even some of the insides, still pretty, pretty decent. But these tracks and those switches they aren't going anywhere right now. I think I tried to run it and it's not there anymore, but it was kind of cool. Uh, and I don't think it lasted long. Oh, let me get out of your way. That's okay. It's all part of the team. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was a bridge and there was a fishing pole. So here we are. We've got a difficulty up this tree that we're going to use for our current fizzy grid. And deftly climbing the tree carefully, though I won't ask to wave so he doesn't lose his grip. It's part of the CSI team looking to retrieve. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, I spotted it, which means I don't have to climb to get it. Okay, I see it. I do too. Ah! You got it. You can reach for it. You got it. Is that it? All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out and around. And throw it in. Throw it back in. <laughs> ah! So it's obviously come. Let's see it. Alrighty, 3D printed pine cone. How hard to find in the woods. So today's Elgin Trail, we're noticing the lack of uh, deer tracks. So in the fact that the ground's thaw and slick, all we're really running across is mud and water. Even the deers don't want to walk this path. But it's working out. We've successfully found several geocaches so far and have several more to go for the end of today. So we're still on the trail. We're still on the trail and even though the weather conditions are less than improving, we're hoping to have a few more successes before the end of the day. What a difference a week makes. This time last week, it was sunny, warm, no snow around. Also, that was Cuba. Today, St. Thomas area, snowy, snow So here's the overall trail. Section of the Tooms Valley Trail. We're on the Elgin Hiking Trail, kilometer zero, heading to kilometer 41. Definitely a condition for the day. Hopefully the wind breaks a little bit more in the trees. Come to another successful caching adventure 
uh, with Cash Scene Investigations, Chief Scout and my team. Uh, today we found 26 caches along the Elgin Trail, various difficulties, uh, really muddy, slippery conditions. And then to top it all off, apparently we were out in the middle of a snow squall. So um, all conditions, all terrain. I hope you enjoyed uh, coming along on this adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the trail.